welcome all of you nana here and then uh, we are into a short session on this uh, supply chain management accounting tejil goel who has got around 20 years of experience is going to conduct a training on this supply chain management accounting so he will be te teaching us all sorts of accounting it so accounting is always a gray area for the supply chain team in fact what happens if you see in a real scenario we need to have a cost accountant to perform all the costing activities but uh, no company uh, can afford to have a cost accountant separately for doing it so they will know either ask the scm team to take care of the accounting or otherwise the financial team to take care of the accounting and then they always struggle and then i have seen in my projects that uh, what happens uh, we don't uh, do a very proper justice but some or other finance team makes it out but uh, uh, i am always eager to learn which account is getting hit right? we perform plenty of transactions actually in our normal supply chain we make miscellaneous receipts we make miscellaneous issues we perform inter of transfers in transit and then uh, we perform <coughs> uh, in the transfer uh, uh, in the moment request what happens uh, we do the pick uh, confirmation and then uh, when it comes to supplying to the customers then we do the ship confirmation also and then uh, we perform the submitted transfers and then uh, uh, there are plenty of other transactions which are there involved in our things and then uh, in the accuracy part we perform a cycle counting adjustment and then we perform the uh, physical inventory adjustments and then uh, uh, on the po side uh, we are receiving the material from the suppliers and then we return back to the suppliers and then uh, from the customers point of view uh, what happens uh, we uh, what is the issue material we ship it to the customers and then uh, whenever the customer finds anything defective we are going to return it is going to return it back as a rma return material authorization and then for the manufacturing we'll be issuing the raw materials and then uh, once when the job is completed we will now inventorize the product into inventory by a finished good transaction and then we may even manually issue your uh, what's called your uh, materials also fine and then the resource is involved fine we have a resource cost we have a overhead cost uh, we have so many other costs which are involved in manufacturing again fine so we all perform these transactions but we don't know which accounting is going to be hit actually so it's always a gray area and then i was uh, not aware many students used to ask me and then i don't have the patience to go through the manual you know i open the manual it's really very boring and then it doesn't uh, give a pinpoint information so what happens uh, i just sleep only on the 1000 page book fine i don't have uh, what is it patience to learn it fine. at least somebody is now there to teach us actually fine so tejil goel has got a pretty experience on this uh, costing area and then he is going to conduct this training so this training will be of a great use to all of us and so what happens we will have uh, it's a really i open up for uh, the cost accounting actually so we will perform the receipt accounting as well as the cost accounting from a supply chain perspective so this will now teach you a lot <clears throat> so till now what happens i am always a teacher and then i always ask you to go up and stand up on the bench whenever you don't do your lab exercises but now in this training i am also going to be a student now fine i will not remain gap chip i will not open my mouth at all fine and then patiently listen what he says and then do it and then i have experts like subu uh, who is there in the west coast and the uh, i think uh, the central time i think probably uh, he is uh, staying in houston and then he is uh, working in chicago and then the weekends he is now flying back to houston so some or other his life is also <coughs> screwed up so i asked him whether he can join but he don't have time he, he has got a good amount of knowledge of this right but if he joins it will be great actually fine and then similarly i have people in the west coast also and then uh, throughout the globe i have students i was asked everybody then uh, what happens if we get some good knowledgeable guys it will be great actually because uh, tejil says that uh, he has got one thing like supply chain financial orchestration is not known to him now so i there is also another painful area whenever you perform transfers between two inventory orgs which belongs to two different bu or le then what happens uh, the supply chain financial orchestration as we said he is not aware of it so when we asked about the landed cost management he is saying that uh, uh he will introduce the uh, what happens uh, the landed cost actually so whenever you are transporting it what happens you'll be having a storage cost you'll be having a transportation cost etc etc uh, when it moves from between two so the landed cost becomes a very important one in certain cases he says that it will be having a great importance only for a trading company and not for a normal manufacturing company even then uh, what happens he is now going to then he will not try to make a demo also because he has now worked on it right? so he is going to make a joint exercise on lcm actually land and cost management so but the thing is what the main problem is uh, uh, the accounting for the supply chain actually right? that is the thing which is not known to us right? there are plenty of transactions to make and then we don't know really when we make a pure receipts uh, i know that what happens it will be hitting the inventory valuation on the debtor side and then the contra entry will be your receiving inspection gets knocked off on the uh, creditor side but again not very clear right uh, we have to ask all this thing from 
what are the the entire PDP life cycle and how the accounting takes place. Right? So we have got invoice price variance, we have a purchase price variance. So many accounts are getting hit actually, and then we are not normally aware of all those things. Right? So we are going to do it. And then he says that uh, uh, when compared to EBIS, uh, the costing is enhanced. So in EBIS, we can have only an org level costing. If an org is going to be a standard costing or an average costing method, so the entire, all the items will be only average or standard costing. Now here, what he says is that uh, if you go for uh, an org as a, let us say, an actual, actual uh, as an average costing organization, item one can be changed to whatever, you can override the costing method and then you can make it as a standard costing. And then item two can be, you can override the average costing to first in, first out costing. It's a beautiful one. So that concept will be explained in this training. Fine, we'll be understanding about how to set up item level costing method, actually. Fine, that will be taught in this training. And then apart from that, the generic, uh, what happens, uh, the flow of costing, fine, that is very, very important. So when you go into the uh, result accounting or cost accounting, so whenever uh, we create the distributions, it land up in an error, and then we are unable to understand what exactly to do. So we go here and there, and then what happens is somehow or other we manage the situation. But the concept is not clear. Fine. So that is the biggest advantage. Uh, the concepts will become clear for us in this training, actually. Fine. Let me share my screen now. So he has uh, made one such file over here. Fine. You go to my website, oraclenona.com. oraclenona.com. And then slash images. Fine. It has a capital I. Fine. Images. Fine. Capital I, you can put oraclenona.com slash images. This is capital I images. Enter now. Fine. It'll now come to my directory, actually. In this directory, I have uploaded this file, actually. So we have one uh, Oracle Fusion Costing Training. Fine. There is one more thing called Fusion Costing Training that has been enhanced and then it has been upgraded to the, the latest one. Now. So click on the Oracle Fusion Costing Training. Fine. Go there. We'll now go to the file. So the file. So you can understand this one. So go down. So it is a fusion costing training, and then it will now give you a good and the prerequisite is what you must know the basics basically. If you don't know how to perform a submission transfers, intro transfers, and then pick confirm and ship confirm, you'll be finding it difficult. But so that is a thing which is expected upon. So let us say you are going to be a JD Edwards consultant or a People's Soft consultant, and then directly coming and then learning fusion costing may not work at all. Maybe you'll be finding it difficulty. So uh, in fact, what happens is no even planning to even uh, connect a supply chain training also because I know old year, 61 years, and then I don't know whether I will be again conducting any more training or not. I'm not sure about it. But uh, this guy is uh, still having lots of years. Now, just entered the, into the training arena, and then he will be sharing his thoughts on the supply chain arena also. So this is a WhatsApp number. You can even write to him and then uh, ask the clarification about what are all your expectations. He has got a Telegram group also. Fine with that. So, not a, so he has got a group on that. He you can click on the group and then he can even join the group actually. Similarly, the WhatsApp also, you can join the group now. You can mail to him this number now, fine. This is your mail ID, goel.tigil at gmail.com, fine that. So he is conducting two options of a training now, actually. <clears throat> One of the working days, actually. So he is saying 15 days, fine. I asked him, is it strict that he is going to end on 15th, 15th day? No, he says that no. So let us say, if, if the topics cannot be covered in 15 days, if there are interactions, more interactions, it will be going to 20 or 25 days or even more, so depending upon that. So the end date is not exactly there. And then uh, he will be uh, doing it uh, on what happens is starting on Wednesday. And then he'll be conducting it on Monday to Friday, actually. It'll be on Monday to Friday. So 6.30 a.m. IST is okay. Fine. Uh, it becomes, uh, is a okay time for uh, East Coast people. But for the West Coast people, it will be 5 p.m. actually. 5 p.m. is what uh, they have to wind up the activity in the office and then come quickly and then join this. So for the West Coast, West Coast people, it will be a challenge. Fine. 5 p.m. <coughs> West Coast will be somewhat a challenge for me. But on the weekend, it's all okay, man. Yeah, it's all after the weekend. So, uh, yeah. one thing is uh, 8 a.m. is 9.30 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. It will be somewhat late. But uh, since they are learning it, they can now burn the midnight oil and then do it also. So, it's all IST actually. So, he gives uh, two coffee breaks so that what happens, he can refresh and then come back. And then we will now pounce on him. Fine, whatever you want. So, it will be a joint exercise and then whenever anything is not done. I'm also there and then uh, I will also practice whatever concepts he's teaching and then uh, I will also share my experience on this also. Fine. Brother. So this is on the weekends, on Saturdays and Sundays, it's going to be 8 a.m. IST actually. Fine. On Saturdays and Sundays. And then again, the two weekends is uh, just uh, what happens is an uh, uh, optional one. It may even extend beyond depending upon the, what happens, uh, the course progress actually. So the course fee is 10,000 and then this agenda funds, right? You're going to give a cost organization setups, cost book setups, profiles, and the methods, expense accounts, polls, 
and then uh, he will not cover that he is not going to take a what up as an example he says that standard costing is a very difficult one and then he will be taking it up on end to end for majority of the setups actually because average and actual costing uh, may not have that much of a setups and so his majority of the setups will be on the standard costing right so i was saying and then you know cover up everything right there actual costing has got two more type of costing one is the fifo costing and then one is the lifo costing everything will be covered on this map right and then for the purchasing you will not cover the end to end transactions right purchase order receipts and then we are going to perform what happens the returns we are going to perform corrections right and then uh, uh, whatever uh, you are doing it at the purchasing right everything will be covered actually in this training <clears throat> similarly for the sales orders we are going to ship it to the customers and then the comms the cost of goods sold as well as the decoms will be hit actually and comms and decoms how they are getting hit and then that will be taught to us and then uh, similarly for plenty of inventory transactions fine all the inventory transactions costing will be done and then manufacturing has split has got plenty of transactions fine we have a uh, uh, material uh, transactions as well as the resource transactions the overhead transactions everything is not coming up fine for that like uh, what happens the uh, resource overheads and then the middle overhead and then uh, uh, we will not be able to understand about whether it will not hit the, the material absorption account on the credit side or the debit side fine is always confusing so everything will be clarified on the strain of fine brother what exactly is an absorption account fine right? so each and every uh, part of uh, the manufacturing will be explained fine so receipt accounting is all done so receipt accounting has got four parts so when you receive the material from the supplier <coughs> it will be getting the receipt account and then when you perform rtv return to the supplier then also the receipt accounting is it so two times and then the third activity is what on inter of transfers in transit uh it will be hitting or it will be coming via again that will be hitting the receipt accounting as well as when the customer returns back as a rma fine they will also be hitting the receipt accounting for receipt accounting as of no i know that there are four activities which will be hitting the receipt accounting that may be even more you will be explaining those things and how to set up the mapping set right the mapping set is the base for your uh, tan and dab actually fine transaction accounting builder and transaction accounting definition so here you go there and then set it up your mapping set fine and then that will be the, and then how the costing journals we are going to have a look at it to find out the journal entries are there similarly the valuation how the inventory valuation is going because for the all the inventory transactions the inventory valuation the basic core of it so this is a, basically a bullet point of the agenda actually it is not a, a very detailed one uh, but here uh, what happens you will not be learning the supply chain financial orchestration and then as far as lcm is concerned he will be introducing lcm and then if possible he will also make a demo because he is not done that right so that he is not going to be done he says that it is mainly for trading companies and so lcm will also be introduced to us now right so uh, with this one what happens he will be strong on your cost accounting actually that is the biggest advantage other right? uh, i am now invited uh, many of my experienced students also fine right? if some of them joins it will be great actually fine right? they will be sharing their uh, experiences also fine right? so by which he will know, learn a lot on this mapping right? so he has no uh, given two methods of payment one is what uh, one is the bank account and then another one is what this is basically a upa payment actually so i made a transfer to this account fine brother i made a transfer to this account and then if you go there click on it <clears throat> now uh, if you click on it what happens it has gone to pradeep kumar are yaar ye kon hai i made a transfer transfer he says that he is my father actually since this guy is totally new to the trading arena he is able to set up his own accounts actually he will be doing it very fast uh, and then but since he has got a field experience he has decided to come in training actually so he'll be doing a lot of training so pradeep kumar is his father actually so once when he perform a transaction to this account fine uh, he will be getting uh, what happens pradeep kumar the name now fine so he can even uh, communicate uh, your screenshot to him and then he will now confirm it fine goes you uh, as and when you make a payment what happens you Uh, just what happens you give a confirmation to him back so that uh, you will be uh, getting a lot of information in this <clears throat> okay right so you go there click on it and uh, one <clears throat> so uh, his father is all these things accounts are all his father has account pradeep kumar so he can even go via uh, phone pay beam upi and then google pay fine like you put this number his name of uh, pradeep kumar will be coming so you can make a payment and then uh, give a confirmation back to him on the email and uh, set a screenshot he will be registering over. while registering it you mention you put the option that you want to join the weekday class or week weekend class and then accordingly what happens you will be registering you for the appropriate slot actually and then it will not done it will be definitely be worthwhile because what happens this is a yeah, really a painful area and then a very gray area for us right we don't know which account is getting it so uh, i will also be a student and so what happens i will be sincerely performing all the lab exercises on this now fine we're going to give the documents also he will now provide an instance to practice also so by which he will now uh, be able to become uh, what happens in about a month time he will become a pista in uh, accounting uh, cm accounting actually right? so that much of a knowledge you will know me right? so my best wishes to all of you and then uh, let's hope that uh, you all join 
and then uh, let us know jointly explore also right? if uh, somebody is there in the financials i'm asking them also to come and join so by which uh, uh, you will know learn a lot and right? learning is is a big process actually right? so we normally don't touch the accounting area accounting is always uh, what's called a gray area so now we can confidently uh, what was learn accounting also right? so that's it fine so best wishes to all of you fine we'll now soon see you all in the training right? bye for now